What's going on, guys? It's One Tactical Medic. <clears throat> uh, give a real quick shout out to everybody. Thanks for uh, everybody's uh, well wishes and all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate it. But I'm doing this video kind of in a response to uh, Irish's uh, The Death of Hope. The uh, back and forth in the sewing circle, which uh, I promised uh, Lamb Dog 76 today that I'd throw my nuts in the ringer. So here we go. Um, I probably should have prepared a little bit better before I did this, but I've been watching a lot of stuff today. You know, uh, I'm off work right now, so I have a lot of time to kind of do, uh, you know, some research and, and get my view upon things. And I don't ask everybody to agree with me. In fact, I don't ask anybody to agree with me. Um, there's a lot of shit going on in the world. And it's not just domestic. You know, there's there's big... I mean, I, I honestly... I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there. Um, there are big things happening right now, worldwide, that I think kind of set precedents for uh, things to come. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to be one of these doom and gloom assholes that says, you know, World War Three, but I'm telling you right now, you uh, you look around and you see what's going on. There's going to be a big shit sandwich, and I think we're going to have to take a bite out of this unless, you know, somebody doesn't pull their dumb out of their ass. Whether it be, you know, the Iranians and, and the whole Syrian situation, uh, Russia and their screwed up elections and you know, Putin doing this and Medvedev doing that and them putting boats near Syria and then us sending a battle group over there and North Korea, you know, trying to develop a candle that can hit us. And you know they're getting the fucking technology directly from China. That's that's a no fucking brainer. Hell, I've got friends that will tell you that shit. I mean, to me, it looks like a, a classic envelopment you know, the United States is, you know, yeah, we're, 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 we're screwed internally. And what better way to, I mean, this is just what I was taught. I don't, and I'm sure I, I would hope Irish would get my back on this. But, you know, you want to take down a fucking superpower, you do it from within. You kick them in the nuts while they're fucking down. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You, you take a superpower down by waiting till they are vulnerable. And then you you uh, you decimate them, whether it be economically, whatever the case may be. So, I guess I'm trying to. What I'm trying to say is this: there's more to it than just you know what's going on here domestically. I think we need to look at it more in a global, and I mean that a big time global friggin' picture. Um, <laughs> and it's it's it's. It's uh, it upsets me to be honest with you. You know, I've I've had every member of my family serve in our in our armed forces all the way back to my great grandfather, and um, you know, every morning I wake up and you know I'll check out stuff on the media and and uh, you know I'll have a friend call me here or there and you know I'm just like man, dude, you know, I mean even my wife, you know, she'll come to me and be like, you know, it's so funny you told me that six months ago and now it's happening. I'm like, well. It's what I used to do, honey. So I guess to the to the point, uh, to the death of hope, you know, there's been a lot of good back and forth going on here. And let me go ahead and put out my disclaimer real quick. Um, I don't advocate violence against our government. That'd be fucking stupid. Uh, I don't care what militia you're with. You're not going to technologically beat our government. That's just, there's no way. So do I believe in the whole... Uh, Mutual defense agreements and all that kind of shit, absolutely, you know, protect your own. Do I believe in what Haas said about, you know, I am my own king? Absolutely. I'm an American. Enough said there. Uh, but to the death of hope, I've got to kind of get Irishes back here. <laughs> what a way to throw my tits in the ringer. Um, as Americans and as you know, most of us here are veterans. Uh, we have an obligation to lead by example, if you will, to kind of set precedence on, you know, leadership and how shit's going to go down. 
So I'll be the first one to say I don't advocate violence. However, I do think that people need to get off their lazy asses, pull their head out of the sand, and wake the fuck up. It's, you know, we're not in Kansas anymore. This, this is a, you know, since the, the Twin Towers came down, since the war on terror, it's, this is a whole different ball game. I mean, that's what people don't think. This is not conventional warfare. This is asymmetric warfare. And until you learn how to fight an asymmetric war, you're going to fucking lose. That's just how they're, that, that's all there is to it. I can see the thumbs thumbs down coming. <laughs> so I, I, like I said, I should. I'm speaking off the cuff, so forgive me for my potty mouth and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I listen to "Shall Not Be Infringed" today, and he's right. I mean, he's "Shall Not Be Infringed." He he nailed it on the fucking head. He did. You know, government is so all up in your fucking Kool Aid, and they don't even know what the fuck flavor it is. That's what pisses me off about it. You know. You've got, I've got guys that come by my house and tell me, hey, you can't have that on your property. Not, I mean, I keep a nice property. But they say, hey, you got to move that or you got to move that. And I'm like, really? This is fucking America. Give me a break. You know, I can look across the street and see dilapidated, well, not across the street, but a couple of streets down, I can see dilapidated houses, just junkers, you know. They're not doing shit about them, but they'll come fuck with me because they know I, you know, I'm, I'm me. You know, find them, make some money. I guess uh, <laughs> I made a, a comment or a channel or a comment on Irish's channel. Uh, what the fuck have Americans done? What have we done? What you know? Here's an idea. Let's not fucking vote this election. Let's see what happens. Let's start a movement. Let's not fucking vote. Let's not vote for a fucking president. I mean, I, I would be curious to see what the fuck happens. Because they're going to put somebody fucking in. Is that realistic? Hell no. I'm going to exercise my vote. But as for the hope thing, you know, I don't want civil war. I got two kids, man. I don't want to see, I don't want to see brother and family fighting each other just because they live across state lines. Because that's what happened in our previous civil war. I don't want to see another revolution. But what pisses me off, I guess, is that fucking people are stupid. They, I mean, I'm just going to say that, you know. Yeah, I'm college educated. I'm not the smartest guy on the, on the block, but I have an education. <laughs> uh, and I guess what pisses me off is that no one's willing <clears throat> to do, you know, like Dr. Martin Luther King did and have a million-man march. Let's march on this motherfucker. Let's go to the Capitol, you know. Whether it be you march on your, your county government or your senator's office or your congressional leader's office, your mayor's office, I don't give a shit. Start it somewhere, you know, but do something. I mean, don't let them just take your fucking freedoms out from underneath you. I mean, we, have, we have an obligation as former members of, the, of the, one of the, the best military in the world we have an obligation to defend this republic. We have an obligation to set precedence. We have an obligation to lead from example. We have an obligation to fucking stand at the front of the fucking pack and say, we're fucking not going to take it. Does that mean armed insurrection? Hell, I hope not. I don't know. I, uh, like I said, I probably should have prepared a little bit better for this. I have hope. I'm probably pissing it away, but I do believe in our republic. I do believe in our country. Um, and I do believe that we can turn this around, but it ain't going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen with, you know, guys like us sitting here going back and forth on YouTube it's going to happen by boots on the ground. It's going to happen by boots in the street marching. And uh, I don't think America has what it takes to do that anymore. They're too, uh, they're too interested in who Justin Bieber's screwing and what Lady Gaga's doing.
Tsalla